What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. This very morning we had something very exciting happen which happens once a year and that is Minecraft Live. Now Minecraft Live is a place for all things Minecraft to come together. Everything gets announced including new update features, the winner of the 2022 mob vote, and everything else that is going on with Mojang and Minecraft as a whole. Now we've actually got a lot to talk about today, so let's jump right into this video and we'll talk all the new features of the 1.20 update that we already know, and of course we'll talk about the winner of the 2022 mob vote. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it, and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. We cover all things Minecraft, including new updates, mega bases, and so much more. So go ahead, stick around, and check out the rest of our content. So first up, let's talk about the first thing that was announced for the 1.20 update today, and that is going to be new default skins. Now this, of course, isn't a gameplay feature. It's not anything... Uh, in the actual Minecraft game that's going to affect every player, but they did want to add more default skins past uh, the skins that we have now, which are of course Steve and Alex who have been around forever, but they wanted it to feel more inclusive and uh, just able for everybody to have a skin that represents them in the game. Now, of course, custom skins were a thing before, but now for a lot of new players who don't want to go and find custom skins, they're going to be able to default skins very easily to something they may much more prefer, and there are seven new skins to choose from now in the game. And of course, an announcement like this comes with a great trailer as well, where we get to see all of these new skins interacting, trying to find these redstone torches so that they can light up this giant llama that you see here and make it move and shoot out it looks like some slime blocks. Great trailer, great way to introduce a lot of the new default skins to the game. Now let's talk about real features coming in game. The first is going to be the hanging sign. Now the hanging sign is going to be made with stripped logs and you can see right here you can do it with any of the wood types of course and I think these signs look absolutely amazing. These are definitely going to change the way that we kind of uh, label our buildings and everything like that. I think it's a great new decorative feature that's really going to add a lot of new uh, little building uh, ideas and styles to the game and it looks really good as well whether you put it on a fence post or even if you're just hanging it on top of other hanging signs it gives you a really cool little effect and I'm very excited to see what all the players are going to be doing with this new feature. Next up, we are getting a brand new wood type as well, and that's going to be the bamboo wood. Now, bamboo, of course, has only been used previously uh, for very small things, but now we actually have a very cool looking wood type coming from bamboo, and of course, it's got all the wood blocks as well. Stairs, slabs, your doors, trap doors, everything. It's also going to feature a mosaic wood type, which I think is really cool, and is definitely gonna look amazing uh, for different styles of builds and that's what you're looking at right here you can see they've got stairs slabs and uh, the blocks for it so it's definitely going to be a very nice looking block which you're going to be able to do a lot of things with i personally think that mosaic bamboo is going to look great as flooring but there is also one more bamboo type as well and that's going to be the bamboo boat or rather in this case a raft rafts are coming to the game they basically are just a retextured boat. You're able to put the chest on it just like uh, in the 1.19 update, but it's going to look a little more adventurous and a little different than a boat, which I do actually love that they did with adding in bamboo boats now. The next feature is the chiseled bookshelf. Now this is probably my favorite feature that was announced uh, so far for the 1.20 update. The chiseled bookshelf is basically a way for you to store books, enchanted books, and books and quill. It'll take all of those different book types. You can put up to six in each of these slots, and I think this is going to be a great addition to the game. It's also compatible with redstone as well. So if you use a comparator, you can actually track which books come out, and if you take out the right books, then you can make things like secret rooms within your bookshelves, which I think is going to be a great feature. The textures of this also look amazing as well. You can see the top, bottom, and side textures in this photo right here really gives you a clear idea of what that's going to look like in game. We are also going to be taking a look at a brand new friendly mob coming to the game, and that is the camel. 
Now the camel is super interesting. It is essentially a horse in that you can ride it, but it's gonna have a few things that are a bit different than the horse that may make it more favorable or less favorable to ride. The first thing about the camel is that it's bigger than a horse. You're going to have slower side to side movements, things like that. But the great thing about the camel is that you can fit two players on it. And as you just saw right there, there is a dash ability on the camel, which will allow you to clear both rivers and ravines. Of course, that's going to have a block limit on it. We're not entirely sure of what that is, but the good news is, is that we will actually be able to start playtesting all of these new blocks and features just within the next couple weeks here. Usually when Minecraft announces new updates, they haven't done much of those features yet, and so we have to wait a while for those snapshots to come around. But Mojang is completely changing how they're announcing new updates because they don't want to promise players something they can't deliver. So this time around, they've worked on all of these features and are ready to implement all of them into the game already for us to test out in some snapshots before we actually get the final update in 2023. Now, of course, these are not a lot of features and they don't fall under one theme. There is absolutely no name for the 1.20 update yet, but hopefully we get that as we play through these snapshots. Now, this is not also going to be the entire feature list for the 1.20 update. We are just looking at some features that they've already started working on for the 1.20 update. Personally, I'm hoping to get a lot more features and hopefully a theme or some kind of big feature to look forward to at some point because right now, while these features are really nice to have in the game and I am excited for them, it's really kind of a disappointing Minecraft Live because we didn't get any big feature or theme to look forward to, but of course Mojang has kind of been pushed to that point since so many player complaints came out after they weren't able to deliver on the last few updates that they announced. Overall though, we have a lot of new features in the game to look forward to and we should be able to start playtesting all of these features. Uh, I think they said next week, maybe soon after that, but anyway, we should have a snapshot very soon, which I am super excited for. We'll be able to go through, check out all the new blocks and everything as soon as that comes out. So be sure to subscribe to this channel if you're not already, so you can see that when we release it, hopefully sometime next week. Uh, but anyways guys, that is all the time that we have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. As I said, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it and be sure to subscribe to this channel to see all the features of the 1.20 update as they're announced over the course of the next few months. We'll of course be playtesting the snapshots, but more features are definitely going to be announced very soon and hopefully we finally get an update theme as we get closer to the release of the update next year. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.